All right, so the baby chicks are old enough now and they have enough feathers that we can take them out for excursions, which is super exciting. Um, it means that they can get used to the big girls and the big girls can get used to them. By having the baby chicks out here as well, it means way less cleaning because they can get all of their playing done out here. It's been so much fun having chickens. They're really sweet, um, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting the little chicks out of the house because they're, let me just show you what their brood is looking like these days. See that? That's all water. They just spill things all the time, all the time. While we are out here, I can also show you guys some progress on our garden, our cucumbers, our corn, and some of our pumpkins have started to come up. So it's really, really exciting. Here we go. Oh, some more pumpkin. And then there should be a pumpkin in here, but again, Oh, there they are. Oh, how exciting. Yay. There we go. That's really amazing. Like this is all seed. So really, really exciting to have so many of the plants growing. Really good news too. We got our water tank working. So we do have a big water tank down there and that one serves us in the household. So we shower with that, we drink it, like it's our water and it's really, really important. But then up here, we also have these little water tanks which are going to be perfect for the garden and for the animals as well. So right now it's there, it's good for the garden, but eventually we want to move it so that it's in a position that's going to be much better um, for pressure. Because right now you can see that isn't really enough pressure. It'll do for this though. I've done the best I could with this garden bed. I have fluffed it up. I have put rocks around. And now I'm gonna fill it up with some compost soil 
and I also need to pot my blueberry plant. I'm about to plant my tomatoes and some seeds, but look who I just found. Ladies, what are we doing over here? Did you know chickens are actually Asian animals, which means they're used to living in trees and forests. So this is like their natural habitat. <laughs> no wonder they keep escaping to go there. if these are going to survive. have tomatoes, eggplants and my blueberries planted. We also have the corn, the pumpkin and um, eventually there's going to be beans over there. Oh and cucumber of course. And I figured we're already watering the garden over there and there's spots to still plant so why not get the most value out of the work that we're putting in and just plant some more seeds. So I've got cosmic purple carrots we've had these before and they grew really well so i'm excited for them and i'm going to also try some broccoli this has apparently expired a very long time ago but we're going to give it a go oh interesting oh god this is so hard <laughs> 